You are listening to Women Aloud with Mo Gaffney and Shauna Ride. We're talking with Jennifer Saunders. You betcha. Yeah, she has an OBE. I don't know what that is. She has an OBE. <laughs> I think they refuse their OBE. Jennifer? Do you refuse your OBE? We refuse Nick's. Why? I, I, well, lots of reasons. Okay, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> but you did get a People's Choice Award, right? Yeah, you didn't refuse that. Yeah, no, no. Well, you nice. went and you got that, didn't you, sister? <laughs> yeah, because I deserved that. Right, there you go. <laughs> Barry in Greenville, you're on Women Aloud. Did you have a question oh. for Jennifer Saunders? Hi, thanks. I'm, I'm a big uh, AbFab uh, fan, and I have seen the listings here for uh, Cladiford that it's coming on. Mm -hmm. And I was just wondering if any of the... Um, people from AbFab or any of your friends from that show are associated with this show or any of the cast members? Or um, Joanna Lumley is in it, but you wouldn't recognize her. Really? She has a very small part in it, and um, she plays the oldest woman in the world. Great. Well, I really look forward to seeing it. Good. She's the oldest woman in the world. <laughs> She's the oldest person in the world. It's really hilarious. I actually have seen a, a Clatterford. And you won't recognize her, but oh uh, yeah, but she's hilarious, and she has huge. Now she, I was going to say huge, and everyone's looking at me. Teeth. Uh, she had huge teeth. <laughs> everyone's like huge what? Oh, thank, thank you, you Barry. It's worth saying that it's not. It, it's, it's a very, very different show to Abfab. It's not. It's, it's nothing like Abfab. It's got a very different energy. It's it's not shot in a studio. You know, it's um, it's a very different sort of show. It is, and it's less. Uh, although Don Don's in it, Don French. Yes, uh, she is plays, it, um, it plays person with a dual personality. Yes, a double personality. She's yeah. and she's she's very funny, uh, but there's also some really touching moments in it, if you ask me. I think I think it's a sort of dramedy. Yes. All okay. right. Let's coin that okay. again. Dramedy. 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 <laughs> Now, I was reading in some of this uh, research that uh, French and Saunders mm -hmm. was given one of the highest budgets in BBC history. Is that true? I don't mean to be stuck on this horse, but I'm just saying coming from I our... I cannot believe that's true. Well, the, uh, I, who, who knows? It could who be a total ended? lie, but I, I'm, I've got this here in the research uh, right here about you. And I'm trying to imagine in the United States... No. A uh, show starring two women, allowing them to be funny, and pretty much clothed most of the time, and, and uh, uh, being given the highest budget. No, God, no. No, we got to strand people on an island and crash planes. Put them and in have, a bikini. Yeah, have them all naked uh, with uh, their eyeliner still intact. <laughs> That's what we do. That's what we do. Well, uh, maybe you haven't seen you have, all You have women in comedy on telly, don't you know? Who? You... Who? Who? Come on. Oh. Okay, okay, now, now See, I don't okay. know, because we See, only of course, get Tina Fey. Over here. Tina Fey. Tina Fey on 30 Rock. We've Rod. got We've one got woman that. in comedy. All right. She's really very true? good, too. The rest of them get shoved over to Saturday Night Live until they have a movie career. <laughs> but pretty much, <laughs> if you're going to be on TV, you have to be uh, kind of a supermodel. A little bit of a, a little supermodel, bit of a supermodel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, even if your husband is a great big gut-ridden right. slob, <laughs> you have to be a supermodel <laughs> in America. <laughs> It's, reality has kind of taken over in a huge way, hasn't it? Oh, oh yeah, here, TV. absolutely. Yeah. There is more reality television on than, than I think there is scripted television, really. Um, I, I'd say that's, uh, that's getting that way over here, too. Is it? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, because I think we got a lot reality. of our reality TV from you. Yes, I think you have. American Idol. That's what I'm saying. You, ha you have The Apprentice. You guys have The Apprentice? I think, yeah, I think it was. Uh, oh, it, you it started, started that. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Really? We have American Idol, we have Pop Idol. We now have this thing where Andrew Lloyd Webber just casts his shows on television. <gasps> we have, like, who's going to be Joseph, who's, go you know, in the next, and we have who's going to be Maria in the... Yes, <laughs> we already copied that. Yeah, okay, yeah. we got that. With You're the One That I Want, which uh, they... How many angry actors are there going to be around soon? Oh, oh so many. Oh. Oh, oh, there already are. They, they're, they're okay. gangs they roaming the, the streets with uh, <laughs> scripts in their hands, beating real people over the head. It's like West Side Story for SAG. <laughs> West SAG Story. <laughs> SAG is the Screen Actors Guild, for those of you who don't know what it is. I, I barely know what it is since, uh, well, well, let's not go into that because I don't want a lot of wailing and crying. Now, the new Shrek is coming out. Is your voice featured on that as well? I don't think so. She's dead. I'm not seeing it. I, I exploded. She exploded. I, I actually got them to record the well, line, I'll be back, back, and they never used it. Aww. Oh, but she did make them record it. That was smart of you. I know. That's very smart of you. Maybe I was too pushy. 
Oh, yeah. That, when I think of Jennifer Saunders, I think pushy. She's, you can barely know she's there half of the time. So, now when you write my new show, yeah, uh, you'll get that done in a couple of weeks then? A couple of months. Give me a month. Okay, a couple of months. And uh, um, uh, so, so Patsy's on your You know show. what I was watching the other day? I was on YouTube. Oh, no. You, do you have YouTube? Yes. Yes, of course you do. And um, uh, there was a clip of you, uh, you know, in Ab Fab. And one of the comments underneath said, this should be its own show. <gasps> and they should know, those people who watch YouTube. They should know. <laughs> Listen to them, Jennifer. <laughs> right, well, take go to YouTube. And, and take that up. comment and run with it. Absolutely. I, I, I'm going to back them up 100%. <laughs> And I am not Johnny B F uh, at AOL dot com. Just so you know, right. it wasn't me. <laughs> now I keep joking about it, but I'm curious to get your your input, Jennifer, because you've spent some time obviously over here working in the entertainment industry over here as well. But it, it does seem to be um, funny. Women do seem to be treated not treated. That's the wrong word. But uh, regarded. You know, regarded slightly differently in, in in your part of the woods than they are in ours. And we've had a couple of people here. Kathy Griffin was here, and uh, she was talking about going to the U.K., and she was worried perhaps how she was going to be received. And Mo seemed to think that probably more openly than she is in, in, in our country. What do, you, what do you think? Do you feel well, treated differently? I think differently? Um, it, it's quite good for women in comedy over here at the moment. I think this, it, the, the male thing on television is still much, much stronger, and I think you're much more likely to get your own show. But we have um, someone called Catherine Tate. You probably do. You get Catherine yes. Tate, I think. Well, I don't know America. if we get her, but I've seen her on YouTube, oddly enough. Yes, and she she has her own show and is is very big over here now. And she's not your standard beauty, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, but I think good, people like good characters over here. Yeah. And we we don't have to we don't have to to, to do so many shows. So you get. I think yes, it's, it's quite good quality. But I mean, the, what happened to women on? In comedy on television. I mean, there used to be so many. You spent Roseanne and yeah. Alan and Sybil and all those shows. It kind of seems to go in phases. You know what I mean? We've got the new adventures of old Christine, as we said, and that's relatively popular. And mm. we have um, Tina Fey, who's like, you know, Dirty the Rock. creator. So yeah. she's in, at least mm. in a position of power. Okay. But right now, it seems to be about sort of the domestic you know, sidekick. Um, collective size of the big dopey guy and the shrewd yeah, yeah. and smart and prettier wife. Hmm. Sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It but I'm like hoping fun. for myself someday. <laughs> but also, we don't like her. I think you're right. You, you, England responds more to uh, character and people. Mm -hmm. If if we're going to have a quote unquote character, yeah. all they do is they take Cameron Diaz and perm her hair and take her makeup <laughs> off. There you go. You know, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what they do, right? Instead well, of my... okay, get this. Maybe you saw this, Jennifer. But there was uh -huh. a premiere magazine that was a comedy issue. And they did like this uh, this Hall of Fame of, of uh, movie comedians. Mm -hmm. And there were three women, and the rest were men. And mm -hmm. the three women were Diane Keaton, which she can be very funny and make me laugh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cameron Diaz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that again. Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Wait, I think there were two women. I think that was it. No, that can't be it. I'm not kidding you. Yeah. And so it can't be it. I yeah. know this is their idea of funny women. And, and although uh, Diane Keaton is, I, I love her, uh, no, no doubt about it. Uh, and she can do comedy and, and drama. I, I think there are other women who are specifically funny mm. um, th that you could probably put in that Hall of Fame. Good Lord. Yeah. So that's where we are. So you've got to start bringing, bringing them up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here just yeah. for a season or two. Oh, <laughs> Well, I'd love to do a show like Clatterford over there, because you know, an American one, because it's just, it's got it's all women. Yeah, you know? it is all women. Sort of eight lead roles for women, oh. and I, I think maybe one of them is under thirty. Oh, right? that would uh, maybe yes, one of them is. Yeah, that would never happen here, not in a million yeah. years. Because they take you out and they shoot you once you exactly. reach thirty-four. <laughs> Which is why I had to finally get off TV, because it was coming up to my time. Right. And or you I just thought. do Pepto-Bismol commercials for the rest of your life. That's usually yeah, what You happens. make fun of that again, Shauna. I'm going <laughs> to pop you one. <laughs> uh, so we have that to look forward to. Clatterford, that'll be over here on BBC One. And Jennifer Saunders, uh, thanks yeah. so much for being on Women Aloud. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's lovely to speak to you. Yeah, you too, and say hello to Ella, Beatty and Freya, and of I course, will. Adrian Edmondson. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. Oh, and you. Thanks, Jen. Oh I goodness. love that woman. I love her so much. I want to move.